Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio. I'm Khalid Maidan and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about de Quervain's tenosynovitis. Now this is a condition of the wrist which is particularly irritable for recent parents, particularly recent mothers. And so in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through what the condition is, why it presents in that demographic, and most crucially, what we can do to help them. If you enjoy this video, we'd really appreciate you to hit that like button. It's the most beneficial thing that you can do to help our channel and spread more information around the physiotherapy world. So let's get into it. So de Quervain's is a tenosynovitis of two particular tendons at the wrist joint. The abductor pollicis longus tendon and the extensor pollicis brevis tendon. As you can see, both of these tendons are on the thumb or radial side of the wrist joint. Now they are both normally encased in a tendon sheath, a connective tissue that effectively keeps them snug against the distal radius bone. Now there are a couple of main factors that can make these tendons irritated when a patient has de Quervain's. The first is that when ladies are pregnant, there is an increase in water content within their connective tissue such as that of the tendon sheath. That means that these two tendons get compressed even more against a quite firm distal radius bone, which will naturally irritate them when the tendons are being used. Now, second is the undoubted increase in lifting of a small load that both new parents will have to do once the baby is born, but particularly for the mother who might be breastfeeding. Now, if that's the case, it means lots of radial deviation, as well as lots of thumb extension and abduction, which is naturally going to put more stress and load through those tendons. Now, the challenge for these new parents is that we can't tell them to stop doing those activities. There's no way that they'll be able to stop caring for their child. However, what we can do as therapists is invite our patients to bring their child into our clinic and then hopefully give them some advice about showing them different ways of holding their baby or carrying their baby so that there is less pressure through their thumbs. There are also some gentle exercises of the thumb that you may be able to do, including some thumb extension and abduction isometrics. However, I would absolutely suggest that modifying the way the new parent does their activities is the first port of call. And then if and when symptoms are less irritable, that may be when gentle exercises come to the forefront. Now there are other options that can be used such as analgesia and a steroid injection, but naturally you may find that new parents, particularly the mother, feel anxious about using those options because of the effect it might have on the baby. However, using a thumb splint or a thumb spiker is a really simple way of being able to get the thumb to do a little bit less when it comes to your patient's activities. Now the good news is that de Quervain's tenosynovitis normally does settle down between an average of six and 12 weeks after the baby is born. So reassure your patient, make them confident and empower them to take care of their condition as well as their baby. So everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video and I really hope that it helps you for your patients with de Quervain's tenosynovitis. If you'd like to see more of us at Clinical Physio, subscribe to our YouTube channel or head to our website www.clinicalphysio.com for even more. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Khalid Maidan and we'll see you very soon right here on Clinical Physio.